In this quick video, I'll show you how to import your music and crates from Serato DJ into Engine Prime. Once imported into Engine, I'll show you how to prepare your hot cues, loops, user profile, and transfer everything to your media device. Once prepped and transferred, you'll have access to your Serato collection directly on Denon DJ's Prime Series media players. To get started, open Engine Prime. Once Engine is open, we need to ensure that the Serato DJ integration is enabled. Open the preferences by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. Next, click the library tab. From here, we want to ensure that the Serato library integration is set to on. This only needs to be enabled once as the preference is recalled each time you open Engine Prime thereafter. Once confirmed, we can close the preferences menu by clicking anywhere outside the window. From the library collection area, click the Serato crate icon. This is where you will see all of your music and crates once they've been imported. To import or update the library, click the words Update Serato Library from the bottom. To check the status, you can open the job monitor from the right corner. Once completed, you'll have access to all of your music, crates, hot cues, as well as your saved loops. Be sure to click the Update button anytime you add new music or make changes to your Serato collection. Now that we can see our Serato crates, let's convert them into Engine Prime format. To do this, you can click and drag a crate into the crate or playlist area. You can also right click and choose import as playlist or import as crate. When files are imported, you may notice the track analyze progress at the bottom of the application. By default, all new music is automatically analyzed for BPM, Beatgrid, and musical key on import. You can disable this option from the library tab in the preferences menu. When set to off, the music will not be analyzed until it has been loaded to the deck for the first time. Okay, now that we've converted a few crates, let's quickly prepare a track. First, load a track to the deck by double-clicking the song from the list. You can also click and drag the song from the list and drop it right to the deck area. To prep a track quickly, you can use the beat jump function and place hot cues throughout the beat grid at different areas of the track. In some cases, your tracks will already have hot cues and save loops in place. This is because they were imported during the Serato Collection update. You can right-click on any hot cue to rename or choose the color based on your workflow. Once you set your hot cues, switch to loop mode by clicking the loop button to the right of the hot cue button. From here, set your desired loop region and click any one of the eight available save loop buttons. Just like hot cues, you can right click on any save loop and rename or choose the color. Once the music has been prepped, you'll need to transfer or pack the music to your media device. To do this, insert your SD or USB media into your computer. You will then see the device listed under the device area. To the right of your media device name, you will see three icons. The first of which is a circular icon with an arrow. This is the database sync icon. This feature allows you to sync any changes you've made on the media players back to the software. In this case, the icon is unavailable since there are no changes to sync. The second icon is the user profile. Click this button to access various performance settings to tailor the experience to your workflow. All these settings will be recalled on the hardware once your profile has been loaded. The last icon is used to safely eject the drive once you finish prepping and packing. First, we'll need to transfer or pack the crates and playlists we've created to our media device. To do this, click the desired crate or playlist from the collection window and drag it over to the device area. Be sure to drag crates to the device collection and playlists to the device playlist area. To see the packing or transfer status, you can click the job monitor tab from the bottom right. Always be sure the packing process is complete before ejecting your drive. Once you finish prepping and the music has been packed to the drive, click the eject button to complete the process. Your drive is now prepped and ready to use on Prime Series media players.